My name is Professor Sharon Lewin and I'm Head of the Department of Infectious Diseases at the Central Clinical School at Monash University. So the department's physically located in the Burnett Building, which is next door to the Alfred Hospital and part of the Central Clinical School. So it's an incredible opportunity to be working amongst a very large critical mass of researchers in infectious diseases, given our partnership with the Burnett. And more importantly, right next to the hospital where we I uh, also head a very large clinical department that looks after patients with infectious diseases. It's probably one of the biggest departments of infectious diseases in Australia. I'm a um, infectious disease physician and basic scientist and work mainly in the area of HIV. I head a large laboratory that does translational work on HIV, trying to understand why HIV persists in patients on treatment with the long-term goal of eventually finding a cure for HIV. We have an incredibly research active department. The department has about a hundred people in it doing a mix of clinical research and teaching. But the, the, re the, very re the highly research active areas are largely in the fields of HIV, both basic research, clinical research and public health viral hepatitis, specifically hepatitis B and hepatitis C, um, influenza or swine flu or new strains of influenza, and hospital acquired infections. And in the areas of HIV, we're particularly interested in understanding the tricks the virus uses in order to persist in people on antiviral drugs. And uh, most recently, we've identified a way to effectively wake up the virus to make it visible to the immune system and anti-HIV drugs. And that's a very nice example of very basic research in the lab, looking at what we call the epigenetic control of HIV in resting T cells. Drug development, work we've done together with Monash in looking at new classes of drugs. And then most excitingly, two years ago, we started a clinical trial of one of these drugs, which was just finished earlier this year. So it's a great example of doing very basic work, now moving that work into the laboratory. And then this clinical trial brings up a whole lot of other new questions that we're now taking back to the laboratory. In other areas that, um, that we've been working in, um, we've been looking at hepatitis B specifically and how it interacts with HIV. Many, about 10% of people with HIV are infected with both viruses. So we've been studying how those viruses interact and how having HIV can make your hepatitis B worse. And then we've also been doing work on other um, infections that people with HIV are at risk of. One of them is called cryptococcus. We don't see much of cryptococcus in Australia, but it's very, very common in Africa where most people with HIV live. And we've had a recent collaborative program with a group in Durban, South Africa, looking at the immunology of how people with HIV control cryptococcus. Then in other areas, uh, specifically in the area of influenza, um, uh, Alan Cheng has been leading a very large group looking at vaccine effectiveness against influenza, new strains of influenza, for example, swine flu, when that appeared, we had to rally together across the country to understand the disease and we've played a leading role in that. And hospital acquired infections, the Alfred's a very busy, very complex hospital where we do lots of fancy medicine, transplantation, trauma, large intensive care units, lots of big gun antibiotics. And as a consequence of that, uh, we know that hospital acquired infections then become a challenge. And we've got a range of different projects looking at specific infections that occur more commonly in hospitals, why they occur, who's at risk and how to prevent them. Yeah, well look, I think we've got some very, very experienced researchers who've been doing it for a long time, experienced supervisors with very um, significant amounts of external peer-reviewed funding, and that in creates an environment or critical mass that means that your research is likely to be successful in that environment. But I think what's really unique about this place is the fact that we're so connected to what happens in the clinic or what happens out in the community. So even though you might be working on a particular gene that controls HIV expression, I think most students can very rapidly see how that's relevant to people's lives. And um, 
and, and on the converse to that, we can take problems that we identify in the clinic and take them back to the laboratory and see ways that we can solve it. So it's really that close interaction between the clinic and the laboratory that I think is quite unique. I know many of our researchers really value that they can chat to clinicians in the corridors, they can access samples from patients if needed, they can really see the real-time relevance of their work. I think that's really exciting for everyone.